Now that the pandemic emergency is officially over, travel restrictions have been lifted, but inflation may cause some trouble for your vacation plans. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres is working for you this morning with some travel advice from AAA. The demand for summer travel is high and prices are going up as well. The travel industry is experiencing high demand and supply constraints. And even though prices are through the roof and inventory is sparse, people are skipping over the sticker shock and taking the plunge. This year, 63% of U.S. adults plan to travel this summer, which is up from 61% this time last year, according to a recent survey by Bankrate. Airlines are bracing for high demand, and aviation authorities are warning of another season of flight disruptions. AAA encouraging those who want to go on a summer getaway to book their trip sooner rather than later. Inflation is already high as is, so this summer is set to be rough for people seeking to travel affordably. The expectations come as inflation eased to 4.9% in April after having peaked at 9.1% last June. Travel experts believe that this summer more people plan to shell out for their trips. Seeing folks really prioritizing travel, that is despite, you know, inflation having been an issue in the past year, but now folks want to get out and experience things and travel. So they're making that a priority. Folks uh, are saving up for travel or they've set aside money and they've been holding on to it with the anticipation that a year like this year is going to be the year that they go out and travel. So. Among households earning over $100,000 annually, 81% are likely to take summer vacations. And at the other end of the spectrum, just 54% of households making under 50000 said they'd do the same. What are some of the ways that people can save? Well, a lot of people are looking for ways to save right now. 26% uh, of vacationers plan to drive rather than fly to their destinations this summer. This is especially true now in comparison to last year. The current national average price for gas a gallon of gas is about $3.54 in comparison to the $4.42 last year. And of course, some people are planning on using their credit cards to continue to earn miles to apply toward their trip. Working for you this morning, Melissa Torres, 22 News.